Hi everyone. Um, right, I thought I'd tackle mixed media morsels number 29, sponge technique today. Um, and gosh, boy, does this take me back to the uh, to the 80s in my first um, apartment um, <laughs> that I had where I had a sponged wall. And I'm going to do a similar um, thing today. I'm not going to do the checkerboard that, um, that Kat did, although I will put a link to her video below. Um, I've got a piece of um, deli paper or parchment um, here and I've put some distress dress paint on it. I've got bundled sage and tumbled um, glass and so I'm going to start off with the tumbled glass and I've got this is um, one of those imitation natural sponges. These are 39p um, from oh somewhere like Pound Stretcher. It's not Pound Stretcher but it's one of those type of um, shops. If I remember it I'll, um, I'll let you know later and I'm just going to dab my paint on in fact I'm being stingy I need more not um, enough these I've got some new colors um, I got them um, for a discounted price on on eBay and um, treated myself a while ago um, but I just haven't got around to to using them I just love distress paints just love the texture um, of them and I just find them really easy to to use and in fact, I do want to get my um, jelly plate out as well at some some stage, and um, I might use distress paints on on that. We'll we'll see. Right. Okay. So I'm going to leave that before I sort of get it too busy, and then I'm going to stamp off as much. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. Um, stamp off as much of um, that tumbled glass, and then I'm going in um, with the bundled sage. And again, I think I've been a bit stingy. I need to put some some more. Um, and I think what I'll do first is I'll just give that a quick dry. Um, just so that I don't end up merging both both colours together. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. All right, so that's had a quick blast with the heat gun. So um, let's go in with some of the, what's it called again? Bundled sage. This is a, a pretty colour. So I'm just going to put some dabs of this um, over, over the top. Ooh, that is really pretty. I like that. Well, what have I got to tell you? Um, I'm feeling really weird at the moment. Um... Alex has been gone for just over a week and I just can't believe how much I'm missing him. Um, it just seems really strange. The house is really quiet. I'm not missing the heavy metal before <laughs> before anybody says. That's the one thing I'm not missing. But the house just seems so quiet um, w without him. So that feels, that, as I say, that just feels strange. But um, he's fine. He's having a ball. Um, it's it's just me. Right, so I'm going to give that a quick blast again. Well, I'm being really indecisive today. I just can't make my mind up what I want to do with this. I've dug out stamps and stencils. Um, and then I just love the sponge um, background so much that I'm going to keep it really simple. Um, so I've dug out. So these are some of the papers that you've seen me um, use leftover paint on. And I've grabbed a few of these with um, in colours that, that match um, the background that I've got here. And I've also dug out, this is um, a piece of border that Betsy Doodle sent me in Happy Mail and that's absolutely perfect as well. So I want to incorporate that. So I'm just trying to decide um, what, what to use. And I think I'm going to tear um, some, of, some of this and sort of do a, do a simple collage. Let's, let's have a bit of, of this. I don't want to cover up too much of, um, of the border. So let's have a look and see. We've got all these lovely papers. It's just such a shame. Um, not to use them. Right, now, where's my stays on? I'm going to ink around the edge of these. Ooh, gosh, blimey, butterfingers. There we go. Um, this takes the ink really well because the pages are, are torn and it just sinks right in. It's lovely. Well, the weather here today is miserable. Um, we were rowing on Sunday um, in Monmouth and, oh my gosh, it was so cold. It was freezing. We had to um, leave at seven o'clock in the morning. It wasn't racing. They were just um, what they call heads, which is um, time heats. And the boys didn't do very well. Two of the crew were off um, sick. 
in fact one had gone along but wasn't very well and one um, wasn't there at all so um, one of the younger um, age group lads had, had stepped in and the wind was, was just awful and um, no it wasn't a good day for them rowing wise. Right, okay, I've grabbed um, some of my um, butterfly stamps, my little trio here, and I've got my black um, memento ink. My Stazon's running out. Um, it's getting a bit dry. I must get um, an ink refill. So I'm just tapping this on, and then I'm going to stand up um, just so that I can see. I'm going to put the butterflies on first. Right, and then let me grab um, my Mod Podge because let's try and work out what I want to do with this, this little collage I've got going on. Now, do I want that going that way? No, I think it's gonna to have to be this way like that. And then do I want that over the top or underneath? I think I want it over the, over the top like that. Right, let's go for it. There we are. And then I need a quote. Um, have a look. I did find one. Spread your wings, I think it was. Use your wings and I thought that would go quite nicely. So I am just going to grab the, oh, stays on ink pad again and just ink around, ink around the edges and I think we'll put that under, under there like that. Use your wings. There we are. Here we go. Here's my finished page, and I must admit, I'm very happy with it now. Um, I had a, a block, a mental block earlier, and just couldn't decide what I was going to do to pull this page together. It just wasn't quite right. And I went out for lunch with a friend, and luckily came back with a fresh pair of eyes. And all it took was a was another butterfly. Um, this is a butterfly from a wallpaper sample. It's the ones that I picked up in home base that I showed you um, in a video last week. And so I fussy cut it out, inked around the edges in teal blue to pull it together with the background. Um, I've added some of the Dovecraft 3D pearl effects to the center of the butterfly and a few blue ones to the strip here. That's just a piece torn from a spiral bound notepad. I think it was the um, edge of, of this piece here. And then I've created um, a border. I had to cut this to size because um, I forgot that this was going into my new mixed media journal. Um, this is just a um, scrapbook, craft scrapbook from Hobbycraft. They were on offer a while ago. Um, I think they were down from £5 to £2.50 and I got one um, in a natural colour as well, that, that one, um, which I shall be using for art journal prompts because the book's nearly full as, as well. And the border I created, well, I um, went around the outside with the teal blue again, and then I've got a new stamp set. It's the Bow Bunny Stitches stamp, um, and that's what it looks like. It was either 4 99 or 5 49 from Amazon, I can't remember, and I've used the zigzag stitch just to add a bit more interest um, on the outside and I'm very happy with that so if you like it hopefully you'll give me um, a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, anyway take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.